Hey gang, this is John Newton from Snap on John 100. And um, I just thought I'd go over some of the stuff that I keep in my pack, at least for now. Um, once again, major caveat, every time I'm in the woods or hiking, I'm doing it for exercise number one. And um, it, I just keep stuff in here that is, um, I got so many redundant things, but they're heavy. But um, I want to. I'm trying to basically prepare so that I can uh, hike the Appalachian Trail or or some uh, larger area. So I want to. Um, so I, I'm constantly keeping a, a heavy pack on, so that um, I'll be used to carrying more weight. Uh, one of the things I wanted to mention first that I carry most of the time is closer. Uh, this is my main carry knife most of the time and uh, the sheath is a um, blind horse knives dangler sheath I think it's a number nine and um, it's got a uh, ferrule rod loop that I put a four inch ferrule rod in it with it on a key ring and a hair tie to keep it in there like that. Uh, I like dangler knives. Everybody knows me. knows that That's my favorite pre preferred just because it's down and out of the way when you get a backpack on or the uh, hip belt or anything. Uh, your knife is inaccessible when you've got that on and uh, I'm carrying a few extra pounds and I think most of the knives tend to dig into my sides. So that's why I like a dangler sheath. And the knife I carry in the sheath is a, a, a Bark River Bravo 1 th with a modified ramp. I uh, ground this down to, uh, just enough that it would fit in the sheath. So it's got a little extra um, friction there from that. And the reason, one of the reasons why I love this knife is um, I, I also believe, like my one of my mentors, Dave Canterbury, uh, the blade that you carry for your primary uh, should have a 3 16 or better um, blade and this one is um, 7 30 seconds so it's a little bit bigger than 3 16 and it's got a, um, a convex grind so it lends itself for um, feather sticks or any kind of you know, razor sharp easy to sharpen and um, it's A2 steel, which is a, a really good steel, and it's really comfortable. Um, this is just really a well-designed knife, and so um, this has been one of my personal favorites for a while. So most of the time I'm carrying this on my side, to, uh, regardless of whatever knife I'm using for some other thing, because I like to try other knives, and um, I've collected knives most of my life, and so um, it's fun for me to try out different ones and, and uh, compare them to ones I like. But that's just what most of the time I'm carrying. And on my pack, in the back, it's a Maxpeditions Condor 2. It's got a, a bladder pocket here. And this is where I keep, um, right now it's got the folding stove in it. Um, Normally I would not have this. This is really heavy. Normally what I keep in here is just um, my grill and uh, cutting board. And I just keep it in this case to keep it clean. But those th items fit right in there and actually gives me extra support for the, the um, my back. Or the, the, actually the support for the pack. So it just slides right in there. Just like this. Okay, on the two sides, these are the same. I've got two water bottles that I keep, one on each side, and I do that for balance. Uh, plus, I like to make sure I have plenty of water, so I have the capacity um, of this is a um, about a liter, and this other one is I think forty ounces so it's 
a little over um, a liter. And inside both of them is this one right here has two, they both have pockets, but the other one didn't have anything in them. This one has, um, in this pocket, it's got pure water purification tablets. And just in case I can't start a fire. And this side, and the other side, I keep components for fire. Piece of fat wood, little piece of fat wood, um, I light my fire. And then there's a couple of uh, cotton balls in there and some fat wood. So I keep that in there. Um, so basically it's fire or um, if I can't have a fire, I can purify it with the chemicals or I can, uh, so this kind of makes it a standalone. Um, this, and they're both, um, this is a canteen shop. Um, Nalgene bottle, um, cup, and nesting stove, and I keep a titanium spork right in there too. The other side is the Pathfinder. Um, it's a Pathfinder one. It's got the stainless steel wide mouth. Really love this because um, you can put it in the fire, and uh, it comes with the. Um, I've got a lid for it in the bottom, and then there's a stove and a cup that nests inside there. Um, I'll show you that the other side's pretty much identical. Um, now, the, and also there's a redundancy here of, of extra weight. These are always pretty snug. Um, and then there's a lid. This lid's really nice because it has um, holes in it so you can strain stuff. But I do carry extra weight here, but um, I find a lot of times I want to have um, water going for coffee and food. And so that way I can do both simultaneously and um, I have a cup for each one. So. Um, I've chosen to do that so um, and the other thing is too I with this setup I don't have to have a separate um, cook pot inside my pack so it's more efficient as far as this amount of quantity of space has already been taken up and then you just add that little layer of um, steel for the for the stove and, and cup and that's not that much extra so um, that's what I got on the sides um, I just put this um, Ontario, uh, it's, a, uh, des it's a Blackbird designed by, I think it's Paul Scheider, um, I can never remember his name, I think it's Paul Scheider from, Le it's Hedgehog Leatherworks, designed it and um, Ontario Knife Company made it. So um, being stainless steel, um, I put this on here. As opposed, I used to have the um, Amora on here that was carbon steel, but this way I can have this on the outside so I don't have to really worry about um, corrosion or anything. And the sheath is Molly compatible, so it actually bolted right onto my pack really easily. A lot more securely, the Amora was just kind of stuck on there. So um, it, I, I really like the way this um, worked out. The other thing too is it's got Molly on the front molly straps and I was able to put my extra titanium spoon that came with the, the Pathfinder setup right inside in the front of the sheath so it stays right in there it's almost like a little sheath for that so that's on this side and the opposite side on top I have a um, this is pacing beads and my compass in here. So I keep that in here. It's a K and R um, compass with a mirror on it. And I keep that um, 
and this compass pocket that nests on the side. It's also molly attached, so it fits perfectly right there. And for the back pocket, this is also an add-on. This is a 5x7 um, pocket for Max Expeditions. And in here, I keep this is an extra battery for my camera. I also love Ziploc bags because it keeps everything waterproof. Because this is water resistant, but it's not waterproof. So um, if you're in a torrential downpour, it's, it, and I have been like that, and your pack gets soaked on the inside. In here is a thing of 100% um, deep and a, a bandana to um, apply it with. I don't like getting the deep on my hands because um, it will dissolve so many things that if you got all over your hands and you're touching stuff, you're, it's ruining whatever you're touching. And I keep a pair of uh, mechanics gloves that will have a lot of leather on them. I think this might be synthetic, but this part's leather. Um, so I guess it, they're not going to be really good for heat, but um, they protect your hands. I uh, got a couple of pencils in here, and I keep a write in the rain uh, journal notebook in here, and taped under a piece of duct tape. I've got um, a sailcloth needle taped under there. Also, I have a Fisher Space pen in there. Uh, I like writing with a pen better than a pencil, but I put those in there because I thought they might. Um, if I needed to, I could have that's extra tender. Um, I keep a can of uh, Habilis um, gear wax in here. And, and in the front, this has got a little pocket. I've got a, a Fresnel lens and um, a couple of dr drink packs mixes. And that little space doesn't hold much. <laughs> perfect for a Fresno lens. So that's what's in that pocket. Let's get this back in here. Uh, now the, po the lower pocket on the back of the pack, that's part of the pack, um, everything in here has to do with fire. So, once again, ever-present there's a fire kit and here's my main flint and steel kit uh, this one I just stuck in there just to get it out of the way actually because it doesn't need to be in this pack because it's redundant but this has uh, flint and steel and charred cloth in it um, I keep a, a Leatherman wave in here uh, this is a Max Peditions uh, holder. Sometimes I put that on my belt, but a lot of times I just stuff it in there. Um, here's some cotton material for charred, making charred cloth and an extra piece of flint. And these are just bags of, um, this is a jute twine that, I've, that um, I can use for a bird's nest. And In this one, I've got my gel wax cotton balls and um, fat wood. So this is this is a front line. If I have to have a fire and it's a dire emergency, this is what I'm going for. Um, and this is a, a cake of fix and wax that I got from the Pathfinder School. I'm trying both of them out. They seem to work worth really well. Um, here I've got um, this is a one-handed fire starter um, that's basically sort of like a the um, like a Zippo lighter, um, and you can use this just with one hand. And here is a um, I got this from Path the Pathfinder School also. Uh, it's a giant. Um, extra ferro rod and then there's a lighter in there there's just another piece of uh, some more jute twine with ranger bands on it and the ranger bands hold it together but it also 
they burn real well. Here's some extra cotton balls that I had thrown in there. And I've got an extra, um, an extra Swiss Army knife. I'm not even sure what model this is, but it has um, a really good saw on it, a big giant main blade, and um, oh, and it also has a serrated blade along with a good saw. So I've got that stashed in there. And I think that's almost it. Oh, I got an extra lighter in here. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Extra lighter. Oh, extra lighter and and this is a uh, match case. So that pretty much never gets used, but I stuck that in there. I guess uh, a lot of this is just about um, weight. I wanted I, so now on this top one over here. I got a couple of cotton bandanas, an orange one, um, and another different one, and in here is a um, signaling mirror. I've got a first aid kit right here. Put this over here. And um, here's a headlamp and extra batteries. A set of bands um, for a slingshot. You can use this as for a tourniquet or uh, there's all kinds of uses you can use this for besides a slingshot. And then lastly I've got these um, and these are for a, um, a t uh, for your tarp. Um, it, they they bite onto the tarp and you uh, if you lose your um, a grommet or anything or if you just want to fold a piece of fabric and and lift up on the center of it so I got three of those okay that's that's it for the for the um, uh, top outside pocket uh, now for the inside pocket while I'm at it I wanted to give a shout out to Travis of survive without uh, he is just a super guy. Um, what comes to mind when I think about him is wholesome. Uh, like, um, like the Americans were 50 to 75 years ago in our country. Um, people were really wholesome. And he still has that trait and quality about him now. And, uh, it's it just refreshing to be around somebody like that and I just want to give a shout out to him he's got a phenomenal channel um, real humble and down to earth and uh, just really a lot of good stuff also you get to see one of his buddies um, I think his rare wolf and um, I gotta get to know him a little better because I think I want to have him he's phenomenal with leather working and I want to have him um, I think make up my leather backings for my kydex sheaths uh, because I want to turn some of my kydex sheaths into dangler systems. But anyway, I just wanted to um, make sure I did a shout out, a shout out to Travis, um, super guy. With further ado, without further ado, here we'll go into the inside, main compartment, and uh, this thing is just full of stuff. Well, one of the things I keep in here is a Baco Laplander saw, which I can't do without. Um, here's a tin of, extra tin of uh, charred cloth. And uh, in the bottom it's also got some uh, charred punk wood. 
Here's a package with I got the coffee and some hot chocolate. Um, wow. Here's a couple of um, more couple cakes of fixin' wax. Uh, I think I got a little extra in here. Uh, I don't need to have three in there, but um, as you can see, a lot of times I'll put stuff in here and just keep adding to it and forget that uh, I already had one in there. So uh, it's kind of good for me to pull this stuff out and uh, go through it. But once again, I keep reminding you that um, for me it's not about um, it being efficient with really light weight because I'm trying to get used to carrying a lot of weight um, because hopefully before I pass on I want to walk uh, part or all of the Appalachian Trail or um, the other place I'd like to walk is um, the Pacific Crest Trail. And while I'm on that, uh, I'd like to do a shout out also to Alan uh, uh, Pharaoh's uh, name, YouTube name. He's got the uncanny skill with a camera to um, make you feel like you're walking right with him. His videos are phenomenal. Um, they're walking out. He, he's in San Gabriel's Calif uh, Mountains in California. And um, just another phenomenal channel. Um, he's a super giving spirit. Um, he's given so much stuff away, it's unbelievable. He's blessed me several times. And um, I just can't say enough good things about him. He also, uh, a lot of times, will go out and just pick up trash and spend the whole day picking up trash and cleaning up the area. And um, so he's paying it forward. But I just wanted to give a shout out to him too because I happen to think he's he's on the uh, part of the Pacific Crest Trail. Um, here I have several hanks of paracord and then some uh, S beaners. And uh, I have three climbing carabiners that I use them for all kinds of stuff. Um, sometimes you need them to hang your hammock or just, they just come in handy a lot. Now I, this is a great big um, three by three, it's a three foot by three foot piece of orange cotton cloth that uh, my daughter Katie um, sewed for me. So I've got this in there for a huge bandana. And let's see. All right, I've got in here is a um, reusable space blanket. Now this is the one that's SOL, uh, reusable space blankets. I've got that in there too. And, oh, this is the case for it. I stuck this in here. Uh, this is actually just a, a uh, car dashboard reflector. But it's real lightweight, and um, I can't wait to try it this winter. Um, you know, in my hammock. Also, I got it like you know. That's it's so lightweight. It's a good thing for an emergency if you um, need our extra padding, and this will reflect your body heat back onto you. But I just stuck it in this plastic bag to kind of keep it from. It sort of keeps it better in there. Oh my! I've got some different knives. I've been practicing playing with and uh, getting ready to do some reviews on. This is a Survive Knives 4.1 uh, CPM3 uh, V steel also. That's one of the super steels. It's um, super hard and uh, it, this just unbelievably well made. But I will be doing, um, I'll be doing more uh, with this one in the future. So I'll just keep that off to the side. Um, same with this one. This is a Blind Horse Knives. Um, uh, this is called a uh, Trap Line. I think it's a Trap Line Special or something like that. Trap, no, Trap Line Companion. Trap Line Companion. Um, and this has got a real small blade. I think it's like three inches. And this is just a nice small carving blade for small light tasks. I had this in here. Um, same thing, once again, I put this, stuck these in here so that I could, um, when I'm out in the woods, uh, compare them and, and do little carving tasks to see which ones I really like the best. And once they go in there, I forget to take them back out. So 
there's another one. This one is, uh, oh, both of these shouldn't be on here. I stuck this on there to park it. I made a dangler sheath out of this one also. This just had a loop, so I put two um, split key rings on there. This extra small one makes it, turns it 90 degrees, so this this goes on your belt. This is a Maxpedition's key snap, but it's a Cadillac. Um, it, it's made like iron, so it'll never wear out. Um, it will fit on your belt without taking it off, or you could loop it through there, but it's real heavy-duty Velcro, and then you just snap this in like this. But because of this extra ring, it makes it ride um, parallel with your leg instead of, you know, at an angle. This is one of my total favorites. Um, it is the um, Woodcrafter by uh, Blind, Blind Horse Knives made it and it was designed by Rob of Canteen Shop. It's got a spear point blade, a scandy grind. It's uh, 01 uh, steel, eighth of an inch thick, uh, really ergonomic, um, I think I call that a Coke bottle uh, grip that is just uh, it's just a super knife it's excellent looking um, it fits your hand sharp it's, it just really is it's totally one of my favorite knives um, being an eighth inch this I don't keep it in my this is not one I carry on my side much because um, it breaks my rule of uh, three sixteenths or larger for your the one that you got planted on your side in case you you ditch all your stuff um, this is a, a backup knife for me, uh, but this is one I'll do most of the carving tasks because the thinner blade for fine work is a lot easier to use than a thicker blade. Thicker blade stronger and more reliable as far as not breaking, but um, when you want to do like my bow drill sets, um, I'll use a, a thinner knife or sometimes I even use my Swiss Army knife. Okay. Um, drum liners. I got a couple of drum liners in there. In here, oh, in here is um, 100 feet of number 36 tarred bank line. And, and then a couple of flat, um, these are the flat bungee cords that uh, you can use these for all kinds of stuff. You can use them for a uh, the engine for a, uh, a snare or um, it's nice to if it's real windy I use this for my tarp so that it doesn't uh, rip the grommets out from the uh, wind beating on it uh, thing of jute twine uh, I love jute twine because you've got a bird's nest here so I use it for a bird's nest, um, plus it also you can use it to attach things since it's cordage. Uh, here's an extra hank of paracord. Don't need that much. And then I've got, um, I had one large roll of um, duct tape, and I actually did cut down on space for this. I have uh, two one inch rolls in here. So, um, the plastic for this is just to keep the duct tape sometimes smears glue on stuff. So, I just have this, this is just in here just to keep the glue off everything else. All right. Here is another um, reusable space blanket. This one's a green one and um, you know silver on the inside um, I like this one for my um, for most of the time I like this for my shelter because I'm not trying to get saved so um, I switch between this one's orange on one side so if I'm in a desperate position this will be my top and this will be the bottom but most of the time that's the bottom and this is the top and that's also why I've got two of them And <clears throat> this knife was one I was doing. Uh, I did a video with doing some tasks with this. This is the Survive Knives 5.1. Uh, 
uh, I think this is my favorite knife of all time so far. Um, but this is one that I wanted to put a leather backing on it and turn it into a dangler because um, I love kydex sheaths, but I don't have any use for. I don't, you know, obviously I don't like having a stick it up this high on my belt, and um, I'm not going to fasten this to the outside of my pack. So this would be one that I would, if I put it on my body, I'd want to have a dangler sheath. But right now I just got it in here because I was using it for um, that one video I just did. So you can see, this is the last knife, and I cannot believe I got this much weight in knives, but uh, I've been collecting knives my entire life, so I think I probably uh, secretly wanted to have these in my pack, but um, I just stuck them in there for um, actually comparison. Here's another one that I've been playing with and this is the blind horse nice bushcrafter a uh, spear point blade I really like spear point blades that's my favorite blade design and I like the scandy grind um, I also like a convex grind convex and scandy are my favorites um, I've seen uh, the, also I like the uh, actually the convex scandy hybrid um, I love that but the convex has a little more uh, beef behind the, the edge so that it's a little more um, robust and that's almost it I've got another small pocket in here that's easy to get to I keep my uh, folding shovel in here to you dig it super nice design stainless steel made in America um, folding shovel love this thing use it for fires um, also carry it for like if you have to go to the bathroom and you dig in a cat hole but um, I use this all the time and lastly uh, oh lastly is um, a bag that I've got uh, sharpening stone this is a, a diamond rod and I got a couple of extra spare needles in here and this is something that most people don't carry but I guess if you're looking for extra weight this is a pair of um, phone uh, phone service repair guys scissors or real heavy duty short serrated bladed scissors and there's a lot of times when a pair of scissors comes in really handy that I would rather have uh, scissors and a knife, so I keep that pair, this pair in here too. Well, that's it. Um, I actually can't believe I got that much stuff in my pocket or in my pack either. But um, when I get home, you can bet I, a lot of the stuff is going to disappear. But I was wondering, the weights just seemed to creep up on me, like it just seemed like it was getting a little extra heavy. But I just thought it was my old age. Anyway, uh, I just had, I was just kind of chilling out here and I thought I hadn't done anything like this for a while and um, I feared maybe somebody might be uh, wondering what the heck I've got in this pack that um, seems like it's overstuffed and, and extra heavy. Um, it's also a torture test for Max Expedition because I'm sure that this thing was not designed to carry this much weight. Um, I think it weighs about 35 pounds um, with everything in there. Well, gang, I hope this was uh, somewhat amusing to you anyway, if not entertaining. Um, I hope you might have found something that you thought out of all this stuff that you could take away with, hey, um, I never thought of that. That might be something my side put in my pack. I'm sure nobody wants to, to uh, add all this weight to their pack, but um, some of these items um, I figured you might find interesting um, and you might, you know, want to stick one or two of them in your pack. I definitely like the design of have, or the idea of having two canteens because I had one on there for a really long time and um, it just seemed, my pack didn't seem to feel right until uh, I ended up getting a spare canteen over here. So um, 
I do like that, even though it, it does add extra weight for the, the cups and the stoves, but I find there's times when I want to have two stoves and, can and cups going at the same time so that I can um, have a drink and some food. Plus, uh, if my beautiful camera woman is with me, then she doesn't have to carry any cup with her, and so I can share my two cups. Well, once again, guys, God bless.
really neat looking that's um, you can see the creek down there and then it goes along uh, rounds the same level roughly and then it starts climbing and it goes way up beyond the elevation where I am on this side so it's like a hollow that runs through here with a creek running through it this is really neat this is actually a park but it's a one the side of a park that nobody goes to hardly I've almost never seen a soul here I just happened to re realize after my um, an embarrassing exposure of my the inside of my pack I think I'm just gonna have to call it my instead of a backpack it's my knife case with straps on it I had no idea I actually had that many knives in there that was a, if Kathy saw that she'd think I was a knife hoarder I got company. He's staring right at me. Oh, she. I can't really tell if it's a flat top or a buck. Sorry about the shakiness. Well, oh, there's several. Oh, there went one ran right behind that one. There's a bunch on the other side of this hedgerow. There it goes. Yep, flat top.